you don't owe me an apology. I put you in an impossible situation when I made you promise not to tell anyone about my relationship with Sonny and Nixon Falls. It was my responsibility to deal with the consequences. I shouldn't have put that responsibility off on you. And then when you had no choice but to tell the truth, I shouldn't have asked you to perjure yourself. And it could have jeopardized your future with Wiley, and he already lost one mother, and I would never be able to forgive myself if he lost another. Are you actually apologizing to me? Dia, you can save yours. Thanks. You're welcome. I have a feeling I'll need to be well stocked in apologies. If Michael finds out I came to see you. You know what? Maybe this is just a mistake. I guess neither one of us is hungry. I was just cooking because I want to distract myself. From us? Yeah, from us and... Have you talked to your mom? No. She left me a voicemail, but I haven't listened to it yet. Why? Laura came by. It's Luke. What? It was an accident. I don't know anything specific. She didn't say anything else. Oh, my God. I gotta, well, I gotta call my mom. Yeah, but I, I talked to uh, Lucas. He said Bobby went to bed early, and he gave her something to help her sleep. So maybe you don't want to disturb her. Why don't you go up and see Avery and, and Donna, and I'll just clean up. I'll, I'll take care of I can't. You. I can't. You can't what? I can't do this. I can't. I can't act like our life isn't falling apart. falling apart. <laughs> if you say so. We may not be in the best place right now, but we're going to beat this, Carly. <sighs> Can you beat your feelings for Nina? I'm going to outlast them, but that doesn't matter because they don't compare to my feelings for you. You're who I want. But not the one you turn to. So you left something out when we were talking about Nina earlier, about how she found you drunk at Charlie's Pub, and she helped you get to the penthouse, and then she kept you company. Is that what Nina told you? Yeah. And she also said that if you came to her now, she wouldn't turn you. I'm gonna take this with me. So I'm gonna go home. I suggest you do the same thing. Just one more thing. The friction between you and Michael is bad for Wiley. It is just the situation I wanted to avoid. But if you and I work together, we may be able to prevent the situation from escalating any further. And how do you propose we do that? I will work on lowering the temperature with Michael if you give up your legal claim on Wiley.